Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to David Sin Our Last. Now, I'm going to talk about five important functions for your business to generate cash flow. Now, the first thing, lead generation. Every single business needs to find new customers and in fact finding new customers is the one most important thing for you for your business to keep growing because without the new clients your company will go down it's like blood for your business now how do we get the leads? In my own business, we do lots of uh, posting on Facebook. Usually what we do is, we do about four or five postings every day. And every time you put a posting there, try to recognize if there are people who either like or comment on your posting. Now, you may wonder, hey, um, my website may not even be popular right now. Like, you know, like, no one knows about me. How, how do I even get leads? Well, you have to get started. So besides doing posting on your own Facebook page, you also have to go to other Facebook groups. An example, if you own a steak restaurant business, obviously you want to attract customers who love um, going out for dinner, uh, they love to, they love to uh, eat meat, and typically people who like to go out to have restaurants, you're willing to spend money. So, if I were you, I would go to the Facebook groups that focus on the kind of things these kind of customers would like to do. An example is, um, I would go to any groups talking about uh, fine dining, any, any groups talking about uh, cooking, or a steak and also the age group what was the age of the customers that you want to attract if your customers are like say between 40 to 65 then you can also go to those groups that fit those criteria and look for the people who commented in those groups Send them an invitation. First, you do have to join those groups. And send them an invitation. And then you get to, and by the time when you get the reply back saying that yes, they would like to accept you as a friend, record all of the information. And actually do some research about this person. This is how you get your leads. Lead nurture. Now imagine once you get your potential client add you on Facebook as a friend, basically he's like a seed, but planted in the soil. Now, you have the responsibility to keep giving it water so that it can grow. Now, the way to, to, to grow them is you give them free, in, free and useful information that can help them. And the more you contact them with these useful and free information, the more likely they will trust you slowly and slowly. And this is how you grow your customer.
The third point, conversion. And this is really important. Now, after the client know you a little bit, you keep feeding them with free and useful information. Now, suddenly one day, on your post, you say, Hi, I have this amazing service available right now. Very limited quantity in only a couple of days. If you click on this link, you will immediately get 10% off as a discount. What do you think they will have in the head at this, at this moment? You have been giving them free and useful information. And suddenly, wow, this person is nice. If I click on this, wow, I will suddenly get like a 10% discount. If they feel that they need this product and the fact that you talk to them, you have been consistently communicating with them. How? Through the post. You've been nurturing them all along. Now, this is when the magic will happen. They click this link and immediately they got to your website where or your shop or the shopping cart where you want them to buy. The fourth step and this is actually the most important part out of all the previous steps is you must over deliver. Let me say again over deliver. Why? Imagine, they bought a product, they pay money, and I, sell, I send to them. But if I send something that's low quality, what do you think they're going to think? Well, I thought you were a good guy. You've been giving me all these free information, you know, all these times, but when I finally buy from you, you give me shit. Come on, you know what? You're a liar, I'm not gonna buy from you again. This is why. It is not enough just to deliver. You have to deliver, over deliver. If the expectation is here, better deliver at this level. When they receive your service, they'll be like, Wow! Wow! This is amazing! This is amazing! Now, another reason why this is also important is if they don't get a good product, all the previous steps we talked about, lead generation, nurturing your clients, trying to convert them, you can forget all about them because they don't trust you anymore. They are not going to come back to you. This is why you better over deliver so that you don't waste the, pre the efforts of doing the previous steps. Last but not least, once they really enjoy a product, this is the time to remind them how thankful you are and you can also try to do a couple of um, other selling such as you can try to upsell them like like uh, hey um, would you like to buy something else or buy something bigger like at McDonald's whenever you pay the person always asks you hey uh, would you like to get a bigger burger this is called upsell or if you want to buy some soft drinks or fries selling a different product while you are buying something this is cross sale and also if they like 